So before the war in Ukraine even began, both Toria Newland at the State Department, the number two of the State Department, and Joe Biden threatened to blow up the Nord Stream pipeline. Watch. I want to be clear with you today. If Russia invades Ukraine, one way or another, Nord Stream 2 will not move forward. If Russia invades, uh, that means tanks or troops crossing the, uh, the, the border of Ukraine uh, again, then uh, there, will be, uh, we, there will be no longer a Nord Stream 2. We, we will bring an end to it. But do, but how, will you, how will you do that? Exactly, since the project and control of the project is within Germany's control. We will, uh, I promise you, we'll be able to do it. So then the pipelines actually blew up. These are the pipelines that bring natural gas from Eastern Europe to Western Europe to keep the European economy going. And they exploded, causing the single largest human-caused environmental disaster in all of history. And again, setting Europe on the road to actual poverty. So it was an unpopular event, and Joe Biden denied any responsibility. In fact, he blamed Russia. Joe Biden and his whole administration told us that somehow Russia, for reasons they never made clear, just because they're evil, had sabotaged their own energy pipeline. Watch this. It was a, a deliberate act of sabotage, and now the Russians are pumping out disinformation and lies. So that was in September, and it was obvious from the very first day, well, that's not true. It's not that Vladimir Putin is too good a person to blow up Nord Stream, but, like, why would he? It only hurts him. And, by the way, it really hurts Western Europe. But a lot of media outlets repeated that lie dutifully. That's what they do, and attacked us as Putin stooges for having questions about it. Well, we know a lot more now. There have been a number of official investigations of what happened, and not one has found any evidence of Russian involvement. And now we have the actual answer to what happened. Oh, the Biden administration did it. For real. Investigative reporter Seymour Hersh, who's been around for more than 50 years, just wrote a piece on Substack that includes this, quote, Last June, the Navy divers, U.S. Navy divers, operating under the cover of a widely publicized midsummer NATO exercise known as Ball Tops 22, planted remotely triggered explosives that three months later destroyed three of the four Nord Stream pipelines, according to a source with direct knowledge of the operational planning. Now, this piece continues. It's probably the most comprehensive news story you will read this year. Seymour Hersh on Substack, you should read it. And it recounts in detail meetings with the National Security Advisor at the White House, where this was planned, exactly what explosives were used, how they were triggered, by what aircraft, on what day. So many details in here that it is not possible that it's not true. It is true. And in fact, no one in the high level of the U.S. government is denying it with any specificity and said the White House is just dismissing this utterly false and no reporters are following up on this.